Hey everybody, this is example number one for mechanics of materials covering combined loadings. The problem statement that we have is a cylindrical pressure vessel has an inner diameter of 4 feet and a wall thickness of 0 0.5 inches. So if the hoop and longitudinal stress cannot exceed 25 ksi, we need to find the maximum internal pressure that the vessel can sustain. And the problem statement also asks us to also find the maximum internal pressure that a spherical vessel of similar size can sustain. So here's just a representative model of a, a cylindrical pressure vessel and we need to find the maximum internal gauge pressure that it can sustain if the, uh, if the maximum uh, stress that it can sustain is 25 ksi. So the first thing we need to do is check the check the and check the thin wall assumption, meaning we need to check if this can be classified as a thin wall pressure vessel. And so the general criteria for this it might be different in different uh, sources, but we can just use the inner radius divided by the thickness. If it's greater than or equal to ten, then we can classify. Then this falls under the under the thin wall assumption. So. And that means the radius divided by the thickness or the inner diameter. And so just before we move on, whenever I refer to radius or diameter, it, it, it means the inner diameter or inner radius. So R over T is equal to the inner diameter divided by 2 divided by two times T and greater than or equal to 10. So we plug in the numbers. The inner diameter is equal to 4 feet or 48 inches divided by 2 times the thickness which is 0 0.5 inches so 48 is greater than or equal to 10 so this can be classified as a thin wall pressure vessel and then we can use the equations for hoop and longitudinal stress that we're going to use we can we can use these equations so we'll first take the cylindrical pressure vessel case and we first consider the hoop stress or the circumferential stress and that's equal to the internal pressure p times the internal radius divided by the wall thickness or in other words the P times D over D divided by 2T because because R is equal to D over 2. So we rearrange this equation and solve for P the internal gauge pressure and that's equal to the hoop stress times 2 times the wall thickness divided by the diameter internal diameter and so we plug in the numbers. 25 ksi is our hoop stress, maximum hoop, maximum hoop stress, times 2 times 0 0.5 inches is our wall thickness, divided by 48 inches is our internal diameter. So the maximum internal pressure in this case is equal to uh, 520.83 psi. And so next we're going to we're going to do a similar approach using the longitudinal stress. So the longitudinal stress formula is equal to the internal pressure times the internal radius divided by 2t or in other words p times internal diameter divided by 4t and so we rearrange this equation and solve for p and so p equals uh, the longitude maximum longitudinal stress times 4 times a wall thickness divided by the internal diameter and so the maximum pressure in this case is equal to uh, 1041.67 psi and so now we're gonna compare this value to the one we just got before 1041.67 is greater than 520.83 so 520.83 since it's smaller this will be the governing case and this is the governing uh, internal pressure so the governing pressure so when we're designing we will say that the maximum pressure that this vessel can sustain is 520.83 psi and it's governed by the hoop stress now we're gonna look at the spherical pressure vessel and so the stress at all at, at all points on a spherical pressure vessel is equal to the internal pressure P times the internal radius divided by 2 times the thickness or PD over 4T which is equal to the longitudinal stress formula 
for the cylindrical pressure case. And so we rearrange the equation and solve for P, and P equals the stress times 4T divided by internal diameter, and which comes out to be 1041.67 PSI. And this is the governing pressure for the spherical pressure vessel. And so this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash engineering examples, and please also visit the website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.